Uh, do you have your list? You see me rolling. All right, here we go. Are you going every other? Um, yeah. Hey, Wave fam, welcome to this video. Ash and I are gonna be talking about some of the gifts that we think would be really cool for travelers in 2018. Yeah, it's almost Christmas time, and so we thought maybe we'd give you some ideas, because mm -hmm. it's always hard to find the best gift. Yeah. Um, so maybe we can just share a few things that we enjoy or have or have on our wish list <laughs> for yeah. Christmas this year. So none of these things that we have listed are sponsored, but um, the links in the description down below, probably some of them are going to be affiliate links. Yeah. Um, you can just find those if you go to a company, you can see if they have an affiliate program. We're not like partnered with the pro uh, the companies or anything, but it is a way for us to get some money if you guys do end up buying any of these things. Or if you're Christmas shopping, use the links down below before you go searching for something on oh, Amazon yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Full and disclosure, that helps us out so much. Yeah, no, for real. Like, <laughs> I think we've made $20 in the last two years off of Amazon. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not like we're making a ton of money, but we these are genuinely things that we think are useful and helpful. Mm -hmm. Stuff sometimes that we do have already, uh, stuff that we maybe want. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, all right. What do you have on your list, Ashley? Um, so first, I have my Kindle. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> We've been so busy lately. I haven't had a chance to read. This, I tried it yesterday. I swear, this is a good gift. So we both have Kindle paper whites, and they're awesome. Oh shoot, I don't want to lose my place in my book. So our paper rights are awesome. Josh had a Kindle last year and lost it somewhere on the road. So then asked again the next Christmas for another one. Uh -huh. But the great thing is them. because of the Kindle service, I just logged into my account and all my books downloaded. I didn't lose yeah. my place or anything. So. And Josh and I share books on our Kindles. So if I buy a book, really rarely do I ever read the books he purchases. And, <laughs> and I <laughs> never read, read the books that she purchases. Purchase. Traveling with books, they just become really, really heavy, and this is a way where I can read while I, what I want, when I want, and um, it's just super light and compact. Great gift. Next thing up is something that we did get from a partnership, but um, we, we, this isn't part of the partnership. So we got a, a guest pass to Priority Pass. And basically what that means is you can go into lounges at airports and have usually a much nicer experience than waiting yeah. at the gate. Um, so if you have a layover or if you just want to relax and get to the airport early, most international flights say that you should check in like two to three hours early. But oftentimes you get through the line anyways and you're sitting there with like an hour to two hours with nothing to do. You can go to, into a priority pass lounge. Often they have food, sometimes they even have showers, mm -hmm. and usually they have plugins, they have good reliable Wi-Fi. Yeah, or it's just a really nice thing. If, some, if you know someone who's going on a long trip and they might have a long layover, it's a great gift to give them because yeah. they don't have to pay for food in the airport. It's always expensive. Mm -hmm. It's just a way to give someone a relaxing time and help them feel a little fancy. Or if you have a kid or a spouse who does business travel, great little gift for them um, to be able to just relax while they're traveling a little bit. I like Priority Pass and I recommend it. Link yeah. in the description. Um, if you're watching this and you want to give us a gift, it's a great gift. <laughs> Oh, this is my second one. I love this down jacket. Ultra light down. It squishes up. Josh and I got this um, before going to Iceland this year, and it's awesome. You can get them at Uniqlo. Um, that's where we got these, and I think they're around fifty to sixty dollars. Um, Depends what model you get. But yeah, they have a hood. It's they're just so compact, and they're really thin, so that you can wear them underneath others. So they're easy to layer, but they also keep you really warm. This is one of the best gifts you can get someone. Not only traveling, but just someone to um, use while they're in cold weather. Mm -hmm. This one is a little bit of an odd duck. It may not be for everyone, but the idea is there. You can look at other things. I have this really cool wallet that I like. It is from Fit Form Function, I think. I might be saying the name wrong, but you can get other ones like it. Basically- it. He got this for Christmas last year. No, like two years ago. Two years ago? ago? Wow. Yeah, yeah. So basically it, it's, a real, it's a slim wallet, right? Not a big fatty and I carry all my cards, my ID, foreign currency. But in addition to that, it comes with a little notebook built right in. <laughs> and then on top of that, on the side is a clip for a Fisher space pen. Upside down, in the rain, doesn't matter, this thing will write. And I love it because um, I still have to sign for my credit card all the time yeah. while we're traveling overseas. Most US cards don't have a pin number yet, so you still have to sign for everything. Um, on top of that, just taking notes down while we're, uh, while we're walking around like, oh, here's a cool new word I learned, or like, writing directions down He's or something. He's always writing things down in his little notebook. Super useful to have. Whether you get a slim wallet or you just get someone a small notepad and Fisher pen for Christmas, I think that's a really cool idea. 
Another gift idea that I had was um, a gift card to Airbnb. Some people don't know that Airbnb do gift certificates. Yeah. But Josh was like, oh, they do gift certificates. I they do. Know. So if someone, not only a traveler, but say your parents, um, you want to send them on a little getaway, getaway, you can send them a gift certificate from Airbnb and they can choose wherever they want to go. With they can it. go on a staycation. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere just down the street or somewhere in a city close by. Um, Airbnb is awesome. We have had great experiences with them and there are Airbnbs everywhere. So anywhere you plan to or want to go during the year, most likely you'll be able to find an Airbnb close by. My second tip after that is something kind of along with that. You can get um, a gift certificate to Airbnb or perhaps prepay for someone to go on a triple experience. So you can use a triple experience or an Airbnb, what do they call them? Experience. Is it an maybe? Airbnb? So Airbnb also sells experiences. Yeah. Same with Triple, whom we have used. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's a really like cool idea. like the experiences we've had, like a cooking class. Like, you yeah. know, my family lives near Seattle, and even though they live close to Seattle, it would be cool for them to do a cooking class there. Yeah, or, totally. Yeah, there are lots of opportunities. When you get older, I say older, but we are getting a little older, experiences sometimes uh, mean more than objects. So yeah. it's nice to be able to like have a memory come from something like that. I did the, the other thing. Um, what is Shampoo bar. Can... Oh yeah. This year on my Christmas list, I put something that our friend Laura, who was with us, um, kind of got me excited about is a shampoo bar. And so, I've never used it before, but she raved about it. They're from Lush, the one that I specifically want and what's on my gift. Um, registry or whatever josh and i keep amazon wish lists but i put the little bar and it's a bar of shampoo and you just lather it up so put it in your hair and you you're fine like instead of carrying those large um like shampoo bottles right. that take up a lot of space and there's no way of squidging them down just it's just a little can and you put your um, shampoo bar mm -hmm. it's like a bar of soap inside and um you're good to go for quite a long time it's supposed to last just as long as a large bottle wow. of shampoo um, so I'm excited about that. I really want to try it. And if I did, when I get it, if I get it, I mean, if I don't get it for Christmas, then I won't buy it myself because it will save me a room in my bag. But I'll let you guys know how it goes. The cool thing I like about solid soaps and st stuff like that for travel is that as you use it, it gets smaller. Most bottles don't get smaller as you use them, or if they do, there's still like a giant head on it and it doesn't collapse. But with a bar, you can just put it in a Ziploc baggie and it'll just get smaller and smaller and smaller as you use it. Not that a bar of soap is going to be saving you that much space, yeah. but a bar of soap over a giant bottle is definitely going to save you I'm a lot of space. I'm not putting it in a Ziploc bag. They have like little tins and you put it in. Well, it doesn't get point? any smaller. What's the point? It's still small. It's like round and small. Another really cool thing is that sometimes when you're on long trips, you can get a little bored. Sometimes you don't want to stare at a screen. So aside from podcasts, which are great, you can listen to them on your phone. Uh, something that we've done in the past and still continue to do is listen to Audible, audiobooks. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a link in the description down below. I'm pretty sure you can either get a discount or I don't know, we'll, we'll find out what the deal is. But basically, if you sign up for Audible, you get credits to spend on buying audiobooks. I mean, I'm listening to Lord of the Rings right now. I'm on the third trilogy. That's probably one of my favorite series of all time, both uh, for books and TV. And uh, I just really enjoy that. Have you actually listened no. to a book? I, I fall asleep. I like I like podcasts. It's worth falling asleep though too sometimes. If if I am going to re read if I'm going to have a book, I want to read it. That's why I use my Kindle. Mm. But um, Audible, I thought about it. I just I would I'm afraid I will fall asleep and then I won't know where I fell asleep uh, and then true. to go back. Whereas a podcast, I'm like they're only an hour. Yeah, and you can just skip around. Yeah. All right, I like Audible. <laughs> Last year for Christmas, I asked for noise canceling headphones. Some noise canceling headphones can be very expensive, yeah. um, but the ones that I got were supposedly the best under $100 and they worked actually really great on the airplanes. You could tell the difference between having them off and then when you turn them on, it just muffles everything else around you. They worked really great and I've ha we've had a lot of people in the comments ask what those headphones were. So we'll link them down below for you so that you too can order them if you want. But they have uh, different kinds, ones that go completely over your ears or ones that set on top of your ears. Um, so yeah, I think that's a great gift. It's under 100 or right at 100, um, but they are great and they work really well. 
And for my personal style and taste, um, I have the Bose QC35s on my wish list. I have not been able to afford them because they're almost $400, but they're on my wish list. And if you have $400 and you want the world's greatest noise canceling headphones, those are supposedly them. Yeah. Yeah, noise canceling I never thought about. It's before, super, super useful but it is really cool. on, a, on a plane or just travel because you can kind of block everything out and just, uh, you know? Yeah, but you do have to charge them. That's the only thing is it adds an extra charge. It's an extra charge, but it lasts for like, I think it's like two days of normal listening time, maybe even longer. Because they're not only, um, uh, what's it called? Not, not just noise canceling, but they're Bluetooth wireless Bluetooth, as well. Yeah. Something that I find is really useful is packing cubes. And this is a super practical thing, but if you're going on a long trip, sometimes you'll just stuff a bunch of stuff in your bag. And then they, they have like those straps or maybe like there's that little thing in your suitcase where you fold it over and it kind of holds everything in. But our bags don't have that. And we prefer to kind of flip open our, our suitcase and just be able to reach and pull things out yeah. like a dresser drawer in a way. So with packing cubes, you can put likes in a container of likes. And it's usually made of some sort of mesh or cloth material that you can just crumple down into any size. So it conforms to the shape of whatever's in it. I've got a, uh, I've got one packing cube that's full of shirts and pants. And then I've got another packing cube that's full of like socks and underwear. I do the same. And then on top of that, I also have like an organizational cube where I put random electronics and cables and batteries and all kinds yeah. of stuff in. So packing cubes is a great way to sort of organize your suitcase and they're not even that expensive. No. Like you can get some just super utilitarian, nice stuff for like 30 to 50 yeah, bucks. It's kind of a good stocking stuffer. I think so. Bags, yeah. As well as the shampoo soap. So last year I asked for an Amazon gift card because with our Kindle, it actually goes with Amazon. So like hand in hand, mm -hmm. so I can buy books um, with that gift card. I still actually have only, I have $6 left, I think out of 25 that she I had last slowly. year. <laughs> no, I don't think I have any, I just forget to use it. But yes, I think uh, an Amazon gift card and an iTunes gift card, because mm -hmm. then you can buy music as well. So gift cards, you know, some people don't like doing them. That's why we give options, but they are really useful and really awesome to be able to, while I'm on the road, if I'm gonna go on a really long trip, either I can buy a book or um, I can buy a new CD that I heard was really good mm -hmm. and listen to it and just adds a little more excitement and fun to get something new while you're traveling and um, enjoy something that you get to cho choose yourself. It's very hard for someone to choose a CD or CD, what a, like a, Album? Album, yeah. It's hard to choose an album for someone and or a book for someone. Yeah. Um, usually that's kind of something you have to choose yourself. One other thing that I think is super useful, and again, if you know me, I'm a bit of a tech nerd geek kind of guy. So this may not appeal to you, but for me, it's super useful and actually pretty important. It's a VPN, and that stands for Virtual Private Network. It's for your computer or your iPhone, your smartphone, whatever you have. Basically, uh, you sign up. The one that I use is like 30 or 40 bucks for a year. And what it does is it adds an extra layer of protection to your internet usage. Yeah. So if you're going into coffee shops or using any open Wi-Fi's where other people can theoretically hack your data, this gives an extra layer of security to your data. It creates essentially a private network between your phone and some server back in the States. It, it, your, your, your data is fully enclosed in this sort of tunnel as it were. Um, but in addition to that, sometimes it can help speed up your internet because the coffee shop has a thing that slows down your internet and this kind of like cuts through that. On top of that, sometimes you can look at videos and watch things from, that you could normally do back home but you can't do while traveling because of copyright restrictions. So you can like say, no, I'm actually back in Los Angeles and the, and the website's like, oh, okay, that makes sense, got it. So it's a really useful all around internet tool and you don't have to be very smart to use it. You just kind of log in and leave it on and then when you connect to the internet, it automatically connects. Mm -hmm. um, so check the link in the description, you can get that. It's like 30, 40 bucks. If you buy it for someone else, I think you can probably just pay and then give them the login information. In addition to that, you can sign in with multiple devices. So several smartphones and several computers. That reminded me actually of the Gig Sky um, SIM cards that we got. That would be a really cool idea to get someone if you know that they're going somewhere on a trip or something because um, a lot of times the US uh, mobile services don't go like if somebody's going to Europe or Asia or, or Australia. Yeah, or they're very, very expensive. So you, instead of um, somebody paying for that, you can just send them a certain amount of money, a credit on Gig Sky, um, and they can use it while they travel, which is 
amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter where they're going almost. Like they work almost everywhere, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. It's a great gift idea. I think that's about all I can think of that's practical without getting super nitty gritty. Is that better? Yeah, we only, tra I mean, we travel with like one bigger bag and one smaller bag, so there's- And we have a bunch of weird stuff because we also make videos too, so. Yeah, there are very few things that are gen like in general great for everyone. Other I think these are them. Yeah. I think we found all the things. <laughs> What do you say? <laughs> Anyways, so I hope this uh, list was useful. This is coming out on Black Friday, so this is our bid to get in. And close uh, to Cyber Monday, yeah, so right. you'll so be buying all your gifts. If you didn't find anything on Black Friday, you can go to Cyber Monday. Maybe these websites will have deals. Yeah. Something to think about. Yeah, and if you have any other ideas of fun things to get um, travelers, then put, put them in, in down below. Yeah, and if, if we think it's super useful, we'll like love it so that people can see yeah. the, on the list. So if you have suggestions and ideas, put them in the comments down below. And Wayfam, I hope we encouraged you to get out there and travel today. Why is someone you love uh, a nice gift? Gift giving isn't um, like what Christmas is about, of course, but it is really nice to get gifts. I know. That give is one of my love and languages. Give them. You yes. love to give them. I love to give and, and <laughs> gift. I think everyone does, right? Uh, no, not everyone. What? People some people loathe having to like go out and find gifts and give them to people. I loathe it because I don't have money, but if I had money I'd love it. Yeah. Anyways, see you later. Bye.